Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Well, Korea has actually banned Terra Luna officials from leaving Korea. So if they are so if they are found guilty of manipulative practices <clears throat> or Terra, Terra Luna the foundation is found guilty of such, they can be destroyed or just sent to jail. But that may not apply to Do Kwan. He might actually escape. And he's actually looking pretty jacked there, so I guess he's getting ready to take on the Korean military and beat them into submission. But anyways, he's actually in Singapore, and he can apply for Singaporean citizenship, which means he might be able to escape the clutches of South Korea. So South Korean prosecutors have banned an unspecified number of current and or former Terra Labs officials, including developers, from leaving the country. So they're trapped in South Korea's clutches because obviously they might be criminals and they might need to be destroyed or sent to jail. KBS, the South Korean state broadcaster, reported that the identity of two of, two of the number had been confirmed, but that both were former high-ranking officials at the company or its affiliates. So basically, high-ranking Terra Luna officials are being held by the state uh, from leaving and escaping the state's wrath. Uh, prosecutors, including the recently reformed um, Unido Grim Reaper Financial Crimes Investigation Unit. That sounds scary. The Grim Reaper Financial Crimes Investigation Unit. Dang, man. They are really, really after these people. If you send the Grim Reaper after someone, it's bad for them. Having been investigating Terraform on suspicions of financial irregularities following last month's UST crash. But Do Kwan is not in South Korea, so they're not extraditing him to South Korea. Um, he could actually seek to obtain, obtain Singaporean citizenship, which make, would make him a citizen of another country. Singaporean law stipulates that foreign owners of certain firms can apply for citizenship if they meet a number of criteria. These include living in Singapore for a period of two or four, um, two or more years, which Do Kwan has already fulfilled. So Do Kwan might actually be uh, getting out of this. Applicants must also contribute a certain amount of money to Singapore national funds. So guess what? All that money that Do Kwan has been accumulating and siphoning off, off to bank accounts has actually been going towards. He's going to buy his Singaporean citizenship and get away from the clutches of South Korea. The same report quoted an unnamed former Terra Network developer as claiming that Kwan was indeed currently trying to acquire Singaporean citizenship. The same developer claimed that they were one of those who had been told to remain in South Korea until the investigation had been completed. So that guy is probably not too happy with Do Kwan. There are many travel bans basically that apply to these Terra Luna people. But if Do Kwan gets away and he just happily lives uh, forever in Singapore without prosecution then it's probably letting him get away too easily this is a conundrum because like they need singapore to extradite him so they can destroy him or at least throw him in jail but if he actually gets the citizenship they might not be able to actually get him to south korea so they might get everyone but the head honcho which kind of like defeats the purpose of the entire thing so that's the news for today let me know what you think like and subscribe hit that bell notifications button thank you and have a nice day